The first time seeing a show here at Starlight, I think I was around six or seven, and I just remember thinking to myself, like, oh wow, this is happening. Like, look how big that stage is. Look how big, like, the performers are performing. Like, all the community and like the, what is it called? The expression and like how they were doing it. And they just looked like they were having so much fun. I learned how to count measures my first time at Starlight. I learned stage directions at Starlight. I learned to be more confident at Starlight. I remember I, I sung Over the Rainbow in this very room and I walked in and I sung my little heart out and, and they loved me and they talked about me and stuff as I stood there. But I think that was the first time that I realized that I could be a performer. And I think that's the, when I finally realized that maybe this is what I want to be and this is what I want to do. And honestly, if it wasn't for the Vincent Legacy Scholarship, I probably wouldn't be where I am today because that scholarship helped me to be able to then take acting classes and voice lessons and dance lessons, things that I did not have access to or even knew existed before then. So then having that opportunity, that's how I ended up in the gala and all that. And then we just, you know, from it to infinity and beyond after that. So 69 was the first summer that I had graduated from high school and was accepted here and came. And um, it was the first time when I was really immersed into the theatrical. We had always had season tickets and sat on the other side, but it was the first time that I really was immersed in the true theatrical side from the backstage and knew that I wanted to go on to New York and see where it went. So, yeah. after college, that's what I did. My first experience at Starlight, I remember I uh, was the music man. I remember I was a marcher and we marched up the steps and down the steps and through the audience. There were a bunch of us. Um, and that was, I think I was seven years old. And then every summer after that, I danced here in various shows when they had local children in each show. And, and I also danced with Steve Short. And um, the rest is history. So I ended up dancing with Gene Kelly in Las Vegas. And from there I got asked to be a gold digger with the Dean Martin Show. And um, my career went on from there. And yes, it did start at Starlight. I was hooked from the time I marched up those steps and marched down those steps, looking at all the people in the audience with my big trombone like this, praying I wouldn't fall. 